ready to take the journey. <laughs> uh, you know, it's been a hard time, but uh, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna test out the waters. Uh, got to make sure that all the aft and the starboard and the, and the port, jig. We gotta jig the lines. Gotta jig the lines. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot to do. So it's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Let's go. <sighs> Hello, and welcome back to a very nautical My Arundel Biz podcast. I'm Grayson Orfe. And I'm Allison Akers. We're your hosts from Anne Arundel Economic Development. If you're new to the podcast, welcome. Uh, we are just highlighting local business owners that make up the communities that you live in in Anne Arundel County. And today we are in Annapolis, America's sailing capital, at the Annapolis Sailing School. So maritime businesses are really important economic base in our county because we have the Chesapeake Bay which is an important staple in our entire Anne Arundel community. So today we are sitting down with John Cosby at Annapolis Sailing School which has been around for a very long time. So John introduce yourself. Hi I'm John Cosby. I'm the managing director. I am not the owner. I am the managing director here of the school. Um, and this is our 60th year of teaching sailing. We're celebrating wow. our, our 60th anniversary. That's awesome. So now, with this being your 60th year, like, you've been around for so long. Like, what goes into that history? Like, like how have you managed to keep the, the business running that long? Well, Annapolis Sailing School has a great, you know, uh, history. It's had three separate groups of ownership. Um, the original owners were Jerry and Kathy Wood, who were the founders of the school. And they started a little business at the foot of 6th Street over in Eastport. Um, and it was Annapolis Boat Rentals. It didn't really start as Annapolis Sailing School. Wow. Oh, interesting. And they had a little dock there at the end of 6th Street and three or four boats to rent. And Jerry found that, whoa, I have people that would like to rent my boats, but they don't know how to use them. So That's it became yeah. the, you know, the chicken and the egg theory. Yeah. So at that point, he said, well, I better find a way to teach these people to sail so they can use the boats I want to rent. So that was the real birth of Annapolis Sailing School. Um, it was used, we, we taught at 601 6th Street over in Eastport. That was the, the place where all the instruction, the the classroom instruction was done. And after that, they'd break up from there, drive around here to our location on Bemby Beach at Chinks Point in Annapolis on Back Creek, um, where they would jump on the boats and get the actual on the boat, on the water sailing. Mm. So um, I started working here as a junior instructor, teaching adults how to sail as a summer job in 1977. Mm -hmm. I was 16 years old. Oh this gosh. was my first summer job. <laughs> um, worked here for two or three summers as a junior, then became a senior instructor, so I was teaching in classrooms like the one we're in today. Um, and moved up s slowly through the organization to be a marina manager in the early 80s. Um, my wife, also worked here so we were just high school kids and college kids that met each other we didn't you get married till here? yeah there's wow. been several uh, several marriages that have happened through people just working at the same oh, place that is so cool oh <laughs> this is one of the this is one of the greatest summer jobs you could ever wish for when we walk out yeah. later and i give you a tour of the property you'll see you know you get it's kind of sun and fun and people of your own age so it's a it's a great summer job. I can imagine you love coming to work every day. It doesn't suck at the all. The view is yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do live in Towson, so it is a oh. bit of a drive. But yeah. um, my wife's a researcher at Hopkins, so we live up there. But um, it's it's truly just a wonderful place here to, to work. And I'm in a great surrounding with great people. Um, this place is all built. It's nice to see the boats and the docks and all that, but it really, this place is built on the on the people that work here. Now, I know um, you left for a little while. Like, is that what brought you back? Well, I left and actually, well, you may look, I am pretty 
Scotty Irish kind of English background. <laughs> I don't tan very well, oh, so really? the yeah, so the dermatologists in my life have always said you might want to consider something different. So, for a short for a, for a period, I worked in the produce business, sure. and then um, during the early 2010, 11, 12 area, we got wind that the sailing school was being possibly changed to something else. Mm-hmm. They were going to take this property and make a very large marina out of it. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. Still run the sailing school, but also have docks for people. And sure. my wife's family, <coughs> excuse me, is um, owns the property next door. And we've always, this has been a great summer home and vacation mm-hmm. place for all of us. So when we found out that this place might not be what we were hoping it, you know, it was always a great neighbor to have, you know, you're teaching sailing, there's no power boats. There's, you know, Mm -hmm. it was kind of a nice quiet little thing. And when they decided they want to change it the other way, uh, my brother-in-law, Rick Nelson and his wife, Jenny, who is my wife's older sister, um, got involved and said maybe we should get involved and they bought the school in 2014. Oh, okay. So at that point they kind of turned to me and asked me if I'd be interested in running the school. Yeah. So I've had that job since. So yeah. 2014 you've been managing director. Correct. Absolutely. Okay. And you came back specifically for that role? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you started as junior instructor, worked uh-huh. your way all the way up to managing director. Yeah. I think that's a really cool story, and it's one that um, the work at AAEDC, Annapolis, and our Maritime Advisory Board has kind of, I would say, is starting to look at. We want to look at how are you training the next generation of maritime workers that can stay in the, and build up the maritime industry. So can you talk a little bit about your hiring practices and how you turn a summer job into an entire career? Sure. Um, it's even kind of more fun than that, is that many Good. of our instructors um, were students in our kids program. Oh, wow. When you guys got here originally, I kind of pointed out out on the docks that a bunch of the small dinghy boats were going out sailing with their instructors and their groups. Um, we've had a bunch of instructors that came from the kidship students. It's a summer camp. Classes. We were taking classes. And we find, you know, there's the cream rises to the top pretty quickly and those kids that are really good with other people um i again i'll go back to it's the people that run this place if you find someone that's a wonderful teacher and learns how to get along with others real well a great listener even if they're not a great sailor i can't i can't improve upon the the teaching skill because that's what i want i can always teach and be better sailors Mm -hmm. so there's a ton of sailors out there. There's not a whole lot of sailors that are good teachers. But if I can find teachers, bring me all you can, and I'll teach them to, to learn to sail. So it has truly been a rising through the ranks okay. group here. There is a group, if you looked at this, you know, 60 years that have uh, worked since this school has started until now, there are certain members that probably started as 15 year olds and may didn't leave, maybe didn't leave till they were 35, 40, or 50 years old. Wow. You know, they just, it's become something they love to do. Um, there's a certain amount of enjoying being with people and, you know, realizing there's a whole lot of, um, you know, you get it right here when you yeah. teach someone how to sail oh, yeah. and they yeah. come out and go, Wow, this was so cool. Well, I you know, imagine it yeah. ignites a passion with It does. Somebody. It is. Yeah. And when you can find that passion, bring me those people because they're the best employees I have. Do you have any special incentives that you offer to keep them on? Well, or we, we do really think, just the environment? It's the environment, but there's when we kind of go to our dormant stage, a little bit dormant, you know, after the boat shows in late October when the days get shorter. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we don't teach sailing all winter long. We can do things in classrooms and do theory, but I can't get out on the water. You know, the yeah. days are too short, yeah. the water's too cold. Yeah. But um, so we keep a staff here of about six or seven okay. that work all winter long. Many of them, you know, learn to love the boats we work on and we have a big shop next door and they'll work the winter in there 
just kind of getting the boats all shined up and ready for next year. So they're really involved in all aspects. Absolutely, of it. Yeah. yeah. And I will say I'm pretty proud. Maybe there's two people that work here out of the whole group that are not sailing instructors, but I would say that 99.9% .9 of what we do are all sailors that work here, um, and they can help someone. So when you walk out on our docks and you've got a question you know, about sailing, there's someone there that can answer the question. They don't have to go running and find someone that can answer mm -hmm. a particular question. Everybody that works here is a sailor. Right. Yeah. So I think that kind of brings up an important um, resource that actually maritime industry should keep in mind that Anne Arundel Economic Development offers. And we do have a workforce training grant mm -hmm. reimbursement. So we help um, reimburse companies that can skill up their workers and keep them in a career such as the maritime sure. industry or a career that you have worked your way yeah, up. Those are, the, those are the kind of things that are really helpful for us. One of the pathways that people you know, kind of look for is becoming captains. Yeah. You know, they want to become a, a, a it be, you're actually a U.S. Merchant Marine officer captain. You're not really a officer, but um, it's a Coast Guard qualification. And for many of our students and, and employees that, you know, look for that, if they work for us for the first year after they've worked here for a year, we'll reimburse them for maybe the cost of their classes. And those classes can run 1700 a couple thousand dollars mm -hmm. just for that class. So if they spend a second year here, we'll reimburse them for yeah. the other half. So yeah, there's incentives because those are the classes that are toughest to find instructors for. Yeah. Um, teaching on the larger boats, doing bare boat and cruising courses. So then I will say, keep in mind, yeah. Keisha Hayes in our office, she's our maritime person for Annapolis. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we do have a workforce training program yeah. that can reimburse you as you're making sure that your employees get the so training. That sounds like a lot great of idea. Coming out. Yeah. 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 Now, <clears throat> we've sat down with a lot of companies in, 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 Arundel, in Anne Arundel County, and we've noticed that they're all rooted in community and they're rooted in partnerships. Mm -hmm. So what type of partnerships do you guys have? So we tend to, for one, our, our biggest partner, I suppose, is Brendan Sailing. And Brendan Sailing is uh, uh, run by um, Jim Muldoon, who runs a large Washington, D.C. consulting educational um, company. But he also runs a summer camp for kids with learning difficulties uh, not disabilities but learning mm -hmm. difficulties and we give them pr free use of our property oh, the awesome. facilities and they're here for that's several great. several weeks during the summer using coming here we're one of their bases and then after here they do one down in south county okay. in um <coughs> excuse me st mary's city um at st mary's college also, we're we're involved with Severn River Association, the Back Creek Conservatory. I think they merged with them. Um, we've been, you know, working ways to see how we can help Crab. We gave him a, a little bit of a donation for the uh, for our 60th anniversary party we had here for the Fourth of July. Um, Plus, we're a big employer of kids in this area. If yeah. you were to take yeah. a peek um, you know, at many of the businesses around Annapolis and you say anybody working at Annapolis Sailing School, there's going to be a lot of hands that have been put up. Yeah, even I know yeah. people that have worked yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you have Yoga on the Dock, right? Well, yeah, that's we, with Blue Lotus. Blue Lotus up here at, uh, at Annapolis. Uh, in Annapolis at, over in uh, the Bay Ridge Shopping yep. Center. Um, that's really they cool. They come down here three times a week and use our big wave attenuator out at the end of the rainbow dock and uh, they do yoga then it's kind of floating yoga out in the wow. you know you're actually way out in the water so That's it's so kind cool. of a, an yeah. interesting uh, concept it is oh that is awesome all right, well, let's talk about the school. We're here in a classroom. Um, so if it, somebody visiting Annapolis wants to come have their boat chartered or have a boat chartered, or whether it's a, an Anne Arundel local that wants to really learn about how to sail, what? how do they sign up? How do they take these classes? Where do they find you? Sure. Just, yeah, tell us about um, that. Our, our biggest customer, kind of where we find majority of our customers are those that live in the area, and they get that view of the water. <laughs> and when they finally reach the point where they're not having to do soccer every Saturday yeah. afternoon and you know they're running around chasing their kids, 
you know, they get to that last kid turns 26, gets on his own insurance, and they've got some time. Um, Annapolis Sailing School is a way to, to learn to get out on the water in a pretty inexpensive way because sailing doesn't require you to take the boat to the fuel dock at the end of that the is weekend true. and you drop, uh, yeah. and drop <laughs> three hundred good dollars worth of fuel in it. Um, so if you would like, you're interested, we offer a couple ways. Uh, we use a Groupon um, thing which allows you to kind of get out on the water oh, for seventy five dollars. Okay. It allows you to go sailing for a couple hours and see if you like it. Nice. We make sure we get a good instructor out there, a clean boat, and a nice set of sales and we'll go out there and kind of give you let you dip your finger into the water um but then when you really you decide hey this is something i'd like to do our whole business was really built upon what we call the annapolis way which was learn to sail in a weekend and learning to sail in a weekend meant that you showed up here on a on a saturday morning at nine o'clock all ready to get out on the water we get you up into a classroom like this one and spend about 40 minutes just giving you a little theory, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of language skills because we talk in a whole different language out on the water. Yeah. Starboard's right, left is port. You know, there's your mainsail, your jib. You got, instead of ropes on a boat, there are lines. And if there are lines that control the sail, there are sheets. If there are lines that, there's a lot. I think I would need this. more than 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we're, we're good just to give you the, you know, the input. And then after that, you get out on the water and go sailing. And we'll, you'll be sailing for two hours, just kind of going over those basics that you learned. Come back for lunch. Um, we'll send you back, you know, go to the grumps or the wet dog or wherever you're going to go in Eastport, grab some lunch, sit out on the beach, enjoy it, and then come back. We'll teach you another another 40 minutes of, of more classroom okay. and get you out there again, sailing until four. So another two and a half hour sailing lesson. Most of our students after a weekend of that can come here and they can take a boat out on their own. Um, we'd rather you not sail on your own, just one person. Right. Yeah, Bring sure. a friend. Yeah. Buddy system's always better. Yeah. Um, but we've found that with the right amount and mix of theory in a classroom and experience on the boat, that's what we call the Annapolis way, um, we've been pretty good at getting beginners to be um, novice sailors out there. Very cool. Um, if you want certification, we are an ASA school. That's our... Uh, governing body that takes an extra day so that course is usually Friday night Saturday and Sunday or maybe a, a Friday Saturday Sunday it usually takes an extra day to get through the certification and what's your website where can We're they find Annapolis sailing dot com okay Annapolis sailing dot com yep. Um, and our, we're open seven days so we'll answer your questions on the phone a lot of people look at websites and just you know, I hope ours you can get it, but many people just would rather speak to a smiling face on the yeah. other end of the phone. Yeah. So we're here seven days a week up until the end of October. Then we'll work Monday through Friday, and we'll reopen at the end of March and do it again. Nice. Yeah. Well, it was great talking to you, and I just want to know, do you have any last words of, of advice or guidance for our viewers? You know, um, I will notice that here in Annapolis, We've had some accidents recently. Yes. We've had, uh, yeah. Uh, so we've had some problems out on the, you know, we had some midnight problems out on the South River. We had a drowning here. Just find a life jacket. Wear a life jacket if you're yeah. out there. You don't have to wear the big goofy orange ones. You know, they. You go to your no, West I just, Marine. I you just can, bought well, you a can really find nice one from West Marine. A careful, yeah. comfortable uh, life jacket out there. You never know when it's your time to end up falling in the water and yep. a life jacket just going to save you. so just be safe when you're out on the water Absolutely. you know it's you know we always know that the things that always get you into the the emergency room are here hold this and watch me do this you know you got to step back from yeah. that and when yeah. you're out on the water yeah. people get hurt mm -hmm. it's not i don't want to make you scared of the water it's a great place to have a good time yeah. just do it safely yeah favorite marine joke water-based yes. joke. You want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah, what'd the fish say when he ran into the concrete wall? What? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... <laughs>
Thank you for tuning in to My Arundel Biz podcast. You can find us on arundelbiz.org on all of our social media channels. So that is on our YouTube channel, the AAEDC, um, on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. You'll find us. Just search My Arundel Biz podcast. We've also got the audio um audio availability on all at everywhere that you can find audio podcasts yes. and we hope that you continue to tune in and learn about the businesses that make up your Anne Arundel communities thank you john you're welcome all right now have a good one